now we're gonna talk about Project E. I bought the 1930 Model A in 2020, but what drew me to that car is that Jason Graham built it. He's one of my favorite car builders, and I've always loved his his traditional uh, hot rods that he builds. And a friend of mine saw that this one came available and got a hold of me, connected me with the owner, and yeah, I went and bought it. I was very excited to get the car, still excited to own the car, never would have thought I was going to make it electric. Um, you know, I, I bought the car, it had a 348 big block in it. This is General Motors first big block. So for a traditional hot rod to have a 348 big block in it, it sounded good and looked good. And so we were having one of our R&D meetings at Legacy EV talking about what the next build is going to be or what we're doing and we always talked about needing a prototype platform that we could test new systems on and I decided at that point I was going to throw the Model A in the hat and say why don't we take the Model A, rip the motor out of it and put a Cascadia motion system in it and we were already working with Torque Trends on the three to one gear reduction box. So we said, let's take this thing to SEMA, electric powered with as many new components that we haven't worked with before as possible and showcase it as what we'd call Project E. And this be the vehicle that we pull components out of, put new components in, test stuff. That's, I pitched it, everybody was for it. So like I said, when I bought this car, it was a lot, uh, gas powered. I've driven it a lot gas powered loved the car, made the decision to make it electric and have been extremely impressed with the performance of the vehicle. It is uh, violently fast, does great burnouts. Um, it shocks everybody who gets to ride in it. So as it sits with the Cascadia Motion motor in it, we're at 300 horsepower and 1,500 foot-pounds of torque with the three-to-one gear reduction box. It's got core power modules in it, 84 kilowatt hour pack, gets just north of 200 mile range out of that. As a gas-powered vehicle, it was 2,100 pounds, closer to 2,200, with the electric power plant in it, 2,450 pounds. So we only added plus or minus two, 300 pounds um, weight distribution change, there's a lot more weight on the on the rear end now, that's where the battery pack sits, just above the axle, rear axle, um, and lost some weight under the hood, as you can see that electric motor is quite a bit smaller than the, the 800 pound 348 big block, so, um, weight, a little bit of weight distribution change, it's a little bit heavier, but overall, um, car performs extremely well, so, it's been fun, we've, taken it to SEMA. Um, it's been featured on the cover of EV Builder's Guide. If you haven't checked that out before, you got to check out the magazine. We've talked about Project E quite a bit. I hope you've learned a lot about it. If you've seen the car before, I hope you feel like you're getting a more deep dive behind the scenes, understanding of uh, what the vehicle means to me, uh, what the build is supposed to mean uh, for the industry and what we're trying to do with it and I'll leave you with a little nugget. There's, there's a lot more coming with this car. We got, we got big plans for it in 2023. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be, we'll be dropping hints at what's going on and uh, you're, you're gonna be excited to see it. And that's a wrap.